Greetings, folks, and welcome back to Instant Screaming. Today for you our Netflix movies Convergence and Let Us Pray. First up is Convergence. So here, after surviving a Mad Bomber's latest bomb, police detective Ben Walls finds himself recovering in a bizarre and strange, mostly abandoned hospital that isn't as it seems. Well, strange, wispy black figures haunt him, and a madman is picking off the few remaining people that are here with him. Now, Convergence is actually pretty interesting on its face, and it has a lot going on and going for it, but it just couldn't grab my attention for some reason. I don't know really why. The whole thing just feels a little flat, and the priorities aren't where I would have liked to see them. Which really is a pity. Uh, there are several nuggets of good ideas in here. I like the setting. It reminds me a lot of the movie Dark Floors. But then they just don't do much with it, and the characters that are in the hospital with Ben aren't really developed at all, so when they get axed off, it just doesn't really stick. I thought it was a lot of fun that they just sort of let out, like, barely halfway through the movie, what these sorts of movies would normally save for a, a large reveal towards the end, but it didn't actually affect the characters at all either way. They just kind of kept floating on to the next plot point, and I realized... That's how the movie was treating all of its cool ideas and kind of attempting to counter its own lack of conviction by stuffing in more things. So unfortunately I can't give Convergence a recommendation. It's not badly done at all, it just doesn't quite deliver on anything that it sets up. But moving on to Let Us Pray that has a hell of a delivery. So during an overnight shift at a small town police department in Ireland, a mysterious stranger with no identity shows up to judge everyone here for their secret sins. Now, while I really like this movie, I'm gonna get the negatives out of the way first. The characters here are just awful people, and they have one note. Most of them are just depraved to the point of being mustache-twirling caricatures. Now, they each have their own big sin, just one, and the movie kind of hammers that hard and often. Now, the events in this movie start off at overdramatic, and then they just get crazier from there, as it all just spirals out of control, almost to the point of being too ridiculous and losing credibility. Now that said, I think all this works here. All this stuff kind of contributes to this overall air of, of unreality that seems to be purposeful. So it doesn't seem awkward or out of place. Uh, also part of the explanation in-universe is that the very presence of Liam Cunningham's character Six is actually driving people somewhat mad as a way of explaining their bizarre behavior. Now, in contrast to everyone else, Six is pretty low-key. I often talk about how I like demonic or evil characters being evil not for its own sake, but because they're just having a blast and just really enjoying it. But this kind of goes the other direction. Six almost seems bored with what's going on here, but he has this confident swagger that's absolutely justified by the end of the movie instead of being proved overconfidence. The whole movie is pretty violent and depraved. It's a little bit over the top, but it, it does still realize that it needs to be interesting and entertaining rather than just bloody. It's a very good balance, a very fun story, and well worth watching. So anyway, that's all I have for you today on Instant Screaming. Hopefully that helps you out. If you've seen either of these two movies and want to weigh in, do please leave a comment in the comments section below. If you have any other suggestions for any movies that you'd like to see covered on Instant Screaming or on Modern Horror, also leave that in the comments section below. Follow Build Environment on Facebook and Twitter for updates. Like and subscribe to this video for more videos, and uh, cheers. I'm <laughs>